My talk is how I built a six-figure year WordPress plugin while working a day job. Um, who am I? My name is John Turner. Um, these are my free plugins in the WordPress.org repo, and uh, yes, superlatives do work there, believe it or not. Um, I have over 800,000 downloads of those two plugins combined, and this is um, my Pro plugin. It's Coming Soon Pro, which is basically allows uh, people who develop WordPress sites to set up a landing page and collect leads before they launch and they work on their website behind the scenes. Um, it's funny, the low, I had um, Pete from Conversion XL um, review my site last week and he's like, dude, what's up with your logo? And I was like, yeah, it's a $50.99 designs logo. I might need to change that. It's like, is that an Apple? Yeah. Um, all right, so how did I get started? Um, so I'd been working on a SaaS ever since I graduated college. The first one I built was a band website generator. I lived in Nashville. Um, I had ties to the music industry. And I had a little bit of success with that. I think at its peak I had around 30 customers. I was making around $700 a month. But I had no idea how to sell it. I was, it was word of mouth at that time. Uh, as years progress, I ended up rebuilding it in WordPress at one point in time, and um, I really learned the internals of WordPress, which are pretty bad, as everybody knows here. Um, but little did I know that experience would later behoove me with my future ventures. That eventually failed again, because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, my next project was to build a Facebook app. Um, it was a horrible failure as well. Uh, around that time, I joined the Academy, and uh, I started reading what Rob and Mike had put together, and it started to dawn on me that I was doing it completely wrong. I needed to step away and reapproach um, how I was going to sell something. So um, as I worked my way through the Academy, it hit me that, um, all right, I'm going to build a coming soon plug-in. Uh, based off the lessons in the Academy, the killer website lesson and sell before you build. So I was building this plug-in to test ideas, and I had a theme that I was going to build to allow SaaS websites to basically get it up and going within minutes. Um, so I started to research to see what was out there. There was nothing really out there, um, and stuff that was out there was pretty bad. So Launch Effect was probably the biggest competitor at the time. And I remember buying it and downloading it and looking at it, and I was like, this is horrible. This is a really bad product. It, it, was, it broke half the time. The support forums were full of questions. So I was like, I, I can build it better. Um, I looked at the WP.org repo. I saw what was in there. The bar was set really low at the time. So what I had said is I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to start very simple, and I'm going to learn how to sell something and market it. And that's what I did. So I had a plan. What I was going to do is I was going to build a coming soon plugin, stick it up, and collect leads for my theme that I was building. I released my free version of the coming soon plugin to the WP.org repo. And about a month later, I realized it had 10,000 downloads, and it was people were starting to mention it in blogs. They were like, here's a really simple solution to build your WordPress website and collect leads while you do it. And um, you know, it was stable. Uh, it worked. And at, little, at that time, I didn't know I was filling a need that existed. So um, basically, I started getting features requests. And I was like, all right, I've got something here. I need to capitalize on this. So, I put the theme on hold, and I started building out the pro version of my plugin. Um, I started very cheap. So obviously, you need a market. I had a market. Um, it was getting 10,000. You know, it was growing quite quickly. Um, the product, it took me about two months to build out the pro version and test it. Um, I threw up a, a cheap website. So when I say static website, I mean, you don't need to, I actually don't recommend setting up WordPress. You don't need to worry about the minutiae. Just get your product up there, let people know what it is, and be able to take money for it. 
Don't worry about the licensing, the, all the stuff that goes along with it. Just t take money and get, get some momentum going. So that's what I did. I stuck up a three-page website on Amazon S3. It was fast. Uh, I uh, took payments from eJunkie for $5 a month, so it took me $5 to launch this business, plus the $50 for the 99 Designs logo. Um, so, um, first month sales, $622. As a person that has worked their, most of their life on fixed income, whenever you make anything over that fixed income, it is amazing. You're like, wow, I'm so used to living on this fixed income and now I have extra money, I can do all these things with it. So it was really that feeling of making those sales and it was addictive. I was like, all right, I gotta keep working on this and keep going forward. My conversion rate was horrible. It was 1.16, um, which is laughable. But anyway, um, what I did is um, I was like, all right, well, I've got this theme. Let's release that and then focus back on plugins because if I can build this one, maybe I can build more plugins and work on a quantity method. That was my initial thought. I released the theme. It did around, it, it was not good. It did around 3,000. I eventually shut it down. Um, I considered more plugins, but after I spoke to people, they were like, just keep working on what you've got, keep you know, uh, doubling down on it, basically. And what I learned during this process is that the WordPress plugin and theme market is, is incredible right now, okay? So basically, WordPress, as everybody knows, is open source. It is used from enterprise to education to small businesses to mom and pops. People need support. They need support. They need something that works. It's kind of the Red Hat model. You're, you know, you, the Red Hat, basically the software is free, but if you need support, they're going to charge you for it. So I discovered that people need support, and it was an underserved market. So I, I, it's funny. I actually had to go back and look through um, the Micropreneur Academy forums, and I kind of rejogged my memory. And um, this was a quote for me. It, it kind of hit me during, I guess, the third month or so. These concepts that I'd been learning in the academy were all starting to come together. So you got a market, you got a product, and everything was just starting to flow. And this was um, one of my quotes from them. And um, this baby, if everybody, anybody's seen What About Bob, you know, it's kind of baby steps. And that's kind of my philosophy is that I was just taking small steps and learning how to do all this stuff and breaking it down into bite-sized chunks and progressing. So as things started to go, um, I started obviously applying some of these techniques. I did price testing, package um, testing, um, asking for blog posts, um, trying marketplaces, A-B testing. I did that a little too early. I didn't really quite have the traffic at the time to do that. I started testing ads and affiliate programs and then really just started to expand my marketing reach and seeing what worked and what didn't work. Um, here's my growth for the first year. So this major first spike was me doubling my price. And the second spike was me adding packages. And as I was doing this, I was learning and I was figuring out what worked and what didn't work. And it was kind of funny because every month since then, really, I, if I had a plateau, I'd be like, all right, I'm done. It's, it's plateaued out. Let me shift focus on something else. But every time I re go back to the market and do more marketing efforts, I grow. Last month was a, a record month for me. So um, this is something you want to avoid. So. Um, I had considered multiple times building more plugins, building a hosted version, and I actually got caught in the trap. I, I built my, my platform to sell the plugin, and I was like, well, I can sell this to people who want to build plugins and sell it. I launched it last month. I had 80 people sign up, and I was bombarded with questions. I did not have time to answer them, so I was like, I'm shutting it down, and I'm just going to continue to focus on what's making me money right now, and I might come back to this in the future. But what's important is 
if something's working, stick with it and keep going forward. Um, all right, how did I do it with a day job? That's probably the biggest question. So I was really focused. At night, I would work three or four hours. My daughter was just being born at the time, so I had the time. And I would focus on the weekends. And the biggest thing is I wouldn't dick around. I mean, I would open up and get on task and get stuff done. Um, unlike Jesse, I had a low-stress low day job. Uh, I worked for the state. And 35 hours a week is full time. And of those, about 20 hours is work. So <laughs> it's quite nice. Um, and again, I just focused and I did baby steps. So I use a software called Workflowing. And the way I do it is I take and I, I develop goals. And then of those goals, I develop basically how I'm going to uh, uh, reach those goals. And then I break it down to task. And I really try to, every time I sit down, I know what I'm working on. It's not like I'm blind. I know where I'm going. And that helps me stay focused and helps me get done stuff that I need to done in little time. All right, why do I still have a day job? So um, obviously, I think it was Mike said, we do this stuff for our families and to help you know, us be provide for our families. So I let my wife quit her job. She was commuting about an hour and a half a day. Um, she finally has had another job, which is awesome. She works for one of the best schools in the state now. And I, we, we bought a house. So my mortgage loan guy was like, don't quit your job. You need, you'll never get a house. So we bought a house about three months ago. Um, also, it allows me to make mistakes. So if I, sometimes I run an A-B test and I lose three or four thousand a month, you know, I, I don't sweat it because I do have some income coming in. Um, I still learn. <laughs> I'm still learning grammar, approachingly. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm still learning how to, how to do this, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely uh, a journey. And um, obviously, I don't like risk. And at this point, I do plan to quit. I'm just getting my runway built up. And um, how can you do it? The key is to find your niche. And it's not with, just with plugins. It's anything you do. Find your niche. There's niches in themes. There are niches in your SaaS business. Find it and figure out what it is and focus on that. For plugins or themes, release a free version and get feedback. Be the best in your space. Um, um, launch Effect, about a year after I developed my plugin, released their numbers. And I was beating them by about 20 or 30 percent. I'm a one man. I'm a one man team. There are 20 team per uh, 20 people team out of New York City. So that was quite a win for me. I thought. Um, never stop learning, and don't forget to smell the roses because it's um, it's definitely celebrate your small wins and enjoy the ride because it's it's, it's ongoing. Thanks for listening to my story.